Good day, fellow viewers. Today, I would like to talk about a wonderful game that I've learned from my wife, who in the morning woke me up just to tell me about it. And this is, for those who are familiar with the movie, Zootopia Crime Files, which is strangely familiar with a previous game that I've talked about around a week ago. This is basically a Zootopia version of the criminal case game, which is a good game, and long story short, it's a crime-solving hidden object game. For those who yet to know, a hidden object game is basically where you need to find the items labeled at the bottom of the game, or anywhere the game designer decides to put it, within the background of the level you play in. So, in Zootopia Crime Files, it's almost identical to Criminal Case. In many ways, the background, the map features, the laboratories, forensics, and even bonuses. What I like about this game is because since I like the movie itself, I'm more keen in exploring the world of Zootopia and everything around it. So hopefully that the people in charge of the story from the movies is also working in this game. Hence, some of this lore in the game may be brought over to the sequel of a movie. So, here we get to play as Officer Judy and her partner Nick, which, spoiler alert, this is clearly after the movie, where they become partners in the police department. But because of having existing characters for the playable character, that limits them to having independent profile characters for each player, as Judy Rapid will always be how she look, as behave, and all. However, her outfits and everything, that can be changed to different kind of things that can be bought, like in Criminal Case, changing her outside appearance. But what about Nick? It would be strange that Judy is doing all the customization while Nick stays practically the same. The only new feature I can see in this game is the fact that you can buy game dollars using real money, of course. Then you use those dollars to purchase the energy sources, like in this case, a carrot juice or a pie. In a way, it's better than a criminal case where you spent real money directly to purchase those items. The game bucks where you buy the bucks, and so exchange it for the items which cost a bit lesser than the number of bucks you gain. Hence you got like some interest of for future items. Seeing as this game has just only recently been released, so it's clear that there's a number of bugs or what that needs to be fixed. Like for example long loading time, lack of uh, cinematic special effects of the game and also they didn't even have Facebook features. But let's look at some of the problems of the game that I can notice here. Like the energy feature, which is a quite a big topic of the previous game criminal case. Let's start from energy cost. In this game, we only need 10 energy in order to play per level. Whereas in criminal case, we require 20. So that's a good thing, right? Not really, because in Zootopia, we only have 55 total energy while the other game has 110. That is basically just half of what we used to have. So that's neither good or bad. However, it takes 2 minutes in Criminal Case to recharge 1 energy, but in Zootopia, it requires 4 minutes to recharge 1 energy. Since this game is clearly going to be targeting to a younger audience, Parents should keep an eye on their kids, whether they're going to spend more money just to get more energy. And another difference is, when you get all 5 stars of the mission, it will only take us 5 energy to play a mission in Criminal Case. And in this case, it also takes 5 energy to play after gaining all 5 stars. And also the laboratory and forensic missions, not only it lacks a mini game to play those missions, it also did not increase our energy. So other than consuming fruit juice or pies, there is no other way I can think of that to gain more energy. Until of course they include the Facebook features. But right now, we don't even have 
the benefits from the AI companions where we can get energy from. So what else is there to talk about in this game so, right now? Like, I'm curious about what kind of outfits Judy will have and everything. And the stars. Is earning the stars going to be used for anything? Right now, there's no known use for it. And what about pets? Right now, clearly, in Zootopia world, well, what are we going to use as pets? Humans? Or something else? Are there non-sentient animals out there? Or maybe we're going to have a rookie cops in training. Or even the mafia group, where clearly Judy had a lot of connection between different group force. These are the kind of things I'm looking for in the near future of patches in the game, which hopefully I will talk about it when it comes. So until then, thanks for watching, and if you want, you can watch my gameplay of the criminal case, or I'll be going on with this game as well. Or if you want a more third-person shooter style of detective work, I did just finish the L.A. Noir game, which was very good, the story is nice, and the game features for a detective game is also splendid. Especially from what I heard, this is the game first time using the mocap device where facial expression and everything is made quite an impact into the gaming community. So, thanks again, and goodbye.